What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch. Huge thank you to Matt Newman over at Coon Sterling Ford for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Bronco or any Ford product, I'll be sure to have Matt's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. All right, first let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands and this particular one has been painted in eruption green metallic, which in my personal opinion is probably one of the best colors you can choose from uh, with the Bronco palette of colors because in the direct sunlight, it's just such a beautiful color and it's a perfect color in my opinion for an off-roader. But with the Badlands, you guys do get LED headlights with automatic high beams, as well as LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals, and LED fog lights integrated into your front bumper. Now working our way to the center of the front end, the Badlands comes with a carbonized gray painted grille with white Bronco lettering at the center. This particular one has been optioned with the $2,790 high package, which gives you this forward-facing camera. That forward-facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes with the high package now what also comes with the high package are four forward facing sensors on the front end so that's one two three and four over there and then those are integrated into the front bumper so we might as well work our way into that so with the badlands you get a black powder coated steel front bumper with integrated tow hooks so you get two tow hooks one right there one over there as well and then also as standard with the badlands you get full underbody bash plates as well as a disconnecting front stabilizer bar and an electronic locking front axle now also like i mentioned to you guys just a little bit ago this does have the sasquatch package and with the sasquatch package you guys get 11 and a half inches of ground clearance as well as high clearance satin black fender flares now i believe as standard with the badlands you get a bilstein haas 2.0 suspension that is a view of your suspension and your control arms and stuff like that down under there now again with the sasquatch package that is a four thousand eight hundred and forty dollar option you get a high clearance suspension as well as these 17 inch high gloss black beadlock capable wheels and they are wrapped in 35 inch goodyear territory mt tires i'll give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires real quick these are definitely aggressive tires and you could do you know some serious off-roading out of the box with the bronco which is pretty cool and then on your front two fenders you have your badland sasquatch badging uh which is really cool and i think that orange accents the green paint uh very nicely again that's personal opinion but that's just the way i think this one is also again been optioned with the 2790 dollar high package and you guys get satin black mirrors that are heated they're manual folding you get blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror these side view mirrors also get led spotlights those come with the high package and they're located there and then also you get a led puddle light which is right there i'm not sure how well the gopro is going to pick it up and a side view camera the side view camera again works with the 360 degree view camera system that comes with the high package now as standard you guys do get a soft top with the four door you also obviously get removable doors i mean this is a bronco after all by the way you do get frameless windows with these doors this particular one has been optioned with the 110 dollar keypad and that is what that looks like up close. You also get satin black door handles with keyless access. Just keep in mind that the keyless access functions are only on your front two doors. And then last but not least, you get these rock rails as standard with the Badlands. So instead of, you know, high centering yourself on your rocker, you actually have these rock sliders to protect uh, your rocker. So that would be a very expensive fix. Whereas this, you can probably replace for a couple hundred bucks. So I'd much rather ruin the rock rail than my rocker, but come in to the back opening this your fuel door up 87 octane plus is uh, recommended so you can put 87 in this but if you guys do put premium fuel by the way the motor does make just a little bit more power and there's a cool little bronco easter egg in your fuel door but come into the back you guys do get led taillights as standard as well as a full-size spare tire one thing that's pretty cool is you get a 150 degree opening tailgate and this handle also has the keyless access function so opening this up i'll show you guys how far it actually opens up so to about right there you you see like this thing really really opens up 
pretty dang far and then with the soft top you have to unlock this thing here uh, and another one over here to get this top piece open but i'm not going to do that because you know whatever this particular one also has the 160 dollars all weather floor mats which is what these are here one thing that's pretty cool about the bronco is that up top here you have a bottle opener integrated into your structural pieces uh, on the roof and then you have a 12 volt power outlet a led dome light and then underneath here you get a little bit of storage space in your jack and stuff like that uh, but yeah that's kind of about it for that trunk area i would say you could probably stack you know five maybe six uh carry on suitcases in the trunk so honestly for what this vehicle is you have a ton of storage space back there and then you also have the accessory ready i believe you can set like a table on here if you guys do get the table accessory i think that is really really cool but closing that back up you can see that is where you will find your ford logo and then let's do a little booty shot you have your little bronco emblem on the right hand side of that tailgate and then you have your backup camera at the center of your spare tire then coming down just a tad bit more, you may be able to hear, you get a powder coated black steel bumper with four integrated sensors back here as well. You also get two tow hooks, one there and then one over there. A single exit exhaust. You also get a 470 rear axle ratio, which is also an electronic locking rear axle. By the way, again, you do get that Bilstein suspension back here as well. Give you guys a little view of that from the back. And then here from the front, that is a look at that. Let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Bronco Badlands with the Sasquatch package in the comments down below. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that standard 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder that makes 275 horsepower and 315 pound feet of torque running regular fuel. But if you guys run premium fuel, you can make 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. This particular one has been optioned with the 10-speed automatic transmission. And with the automatic transmission and this motor combined, you can get a 0 to 60 time in 7.3 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 17 miles per gallon on the highway for 17 miles per gallon combined. I know those fuel economy numbers aren't that great, but the reality is... You know, this thing isn't built for fuel economy. This thing is built to be a great daily, but also to be very, very capable off-road. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I am now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers, and I cannot get there without your guys' help. So again, if you guys have taken anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. That greatly benefits my channel, so I would really appreciate it. But let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, like I mentioned to you guys earlier on in the video, you do get keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by pressing that button right there and now the vehicle is locked. Another way you can get into the vehicle is by remembering your key code, type in the key code and that will also unlock the vehicle and obviously you can unlock the vehicle from the button on the key fob. But taking a look at the key fob itself, you have your unlock, your lock function, you have your your remote start function and your panic function so if you guys wanted to hear what this thing sounds like from the outside lock it press this button twice and the vehicle will fire up and that's what it sounds like so let's move on into the interior and let's see what the interior of the badlands has to offer so taking a look at the driver's side door panel it's pretty basic just like a jeep because you can take these doors off so you have an aluminum door handle unlock and your lock functions you get a nicely padded armrest that is vinyl wrapped you get a great spot you can grab on to close the door and then you get a little bit of storage space down here just keep in mind that this is like a mesh material um, so if you set a pen down in there your pen is most likely gonna fall out of the bottom of the door but I do want to turn the vehicle off because it's making a little bit of noise. But taking a look at the driver's seat, like I mentioned, this does have the $2,790 high package. And basically what that gives you is heated front seats. You get manually adjustable front seats and that is a look at the seat controls. One thing that's also pretty cool with the Badlands is that you guys get a vinyl floor that you can drain if you wanted to. So all you gotta do is twist that and then that will drain all the water out of your uh, floor down under here, which is very, very cool. I'll fix that once I finish this video. But stepping on into the interior, this is what the interior looks like. So 
I'm gonna start it back up, key fob in the interior, push your foot on the brake and then push to start. And that is what it sounds like when it fires up. I like how you have a nice little grab handle right here to step in and out of the vehicle and then you get some orange accenting throughout the entire interior that comes with the Badlands, I believe. But this is what the steering wheel area looks like. I'm gonna turn the climate control system off so you guys have a better sound or better audio of me talking. But coming down to here, you have those LED spotlights with the high package. So that is to turn the spotlight on the driver's side window. And that is to turn the spotlight on the passenger side mirror, excuse me, uh, on or off. And then your, your headlight controls all the way up is headlights off, daytime running lights on, headlights automatic and headlights always on. Pressing on that will turn your fog lights on or off. And then these buttons here will brighten and or dim your gauge cluster and your backlit buttons. You have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Basically what I mean by that is that it goes away from you. You can bring it towards you and then you can move it up and down as well it's very nice uh, when you guys are trying to you know get comfortable in the driver's seat this is your windshield wiper control stock your turn signal stock and your high beam control stock so let's take a listen to the turn signal that is what the turn signal sounds like on the 2023 Ford Bronco but working our way into this you get a leather wrapped steering wheel you get some accent stitching on the inside actually i don't think it's accent stitching it's more like just regular stitching on the inside of the steering wheel and then obviously you have your horn at the center let's take a listen to it that is what the horn sounds like on the bronco so you have your cruise control settings on this side of the steering wheel you have your volume controls also at the bottom of that and then over here all these different buttons like this and these buttons that i'm pointing out to you now like this area is all to control your eight inch digital dash. That's to go back on a track, that's to go forward on a track, that's to speak to the vehicle, and then that is to pick up and or hang up on a phone call. Now let's go throughout our dash. So on the left-hand side of the dash, you have your analog speedometer. Then down here, you have your coolant temperature gauge. At the bottom of this is where you'll find your transmission status, basically letting you know what gear you're in. And then again, this is what your gauge cluster looks like. This is the digital part of it. So over here, you have your fuel gauge, as you may be able to tell. Then you have your digital speedometer readout that's your rpm gauge up top here you have the temperature that's the compass it's letting me know that the auto stop start system is off you get a cool little bronco badge right there and then that is the odometer but to go throughout this screen all you got to do is click on this and then you can go in between these different things so you can go to my view trip slash fuel stuff you can go into off-road stuff which is the bronco i might as well show you guys what you can do pitch and roll power distribution tire pressure turbo boost oil pressure trans temperature uh, and stuff like that kind of cool you can bounce between these different things oil temperature turbo boost get your different gauges right here you can go between your different tire pressure stuff power distribution pitch and roll uh, and those are kind of your different off-road things. So that's kind of about it for that. I can go back out and go in between your navigation, your phone stuff, your audio stuff, and your different settings. Uh, but if this was my vehicle, I'd probably either leave it on this screen or that other screen that I just showed you guys um, here in a second. Probably the off-road stuff because might as well keep uh, one of these screens on. It's kind of cool. Like either your trans temperature or something like that, you know something like along those lines and then up top here you got a good amount of storage space you can set what you need to up there you can also screw in a gopro there so let's say you're going wheeling with some buddies uh you can set your gopro right here and basically film as you guys are driving i think that's pretty cool and it's nice that it's integrated from factory and then this is your sway bar disconnect so you can see and then that is to lock your front axle that is to lock your rear axle this is your trail control so basically you can turn this thing on a dime which is really cool and then you got your traction control on or off button there and then that is your hazard button all the way to the right coming down just a tad again with the $2,790 high package you guys get this 12 inch sync 4 infotainment system with wireless apple carplay and wireless android auto and you may be able to tell right now my phone is connected to the carplay screen so uh just like a month or two ago Ford came out with an over-the-air update, so now you get the full screen Apple CarPlay. So right now this is the full screen, now I'm gonna bring it into the partial screen, uh, and now it's basically split. So this is how it used to be, and then this is how it is now if you want it to be. Pretty cool. Uh, and then also, if you're not in the full screen, this is like your split screen, you can have your audio stuff over here, as well as zone lighting, or you can go into your off-road status, pitch and roll. Um, what else can you do? Keep going, all right, well. 
phone stuff, navigation, so on and so forth. You kind of get the idea, but let's go into our Ford screen. So down here, this is your audio stuff. You can go between your different navigation stuff. You can go between your different apps. Here are your different settings. Here's one's setting screen. This is your second setting screen, and then you can go between your different features. Basically, you have your zone lighting features. I'm gonna override that, uh, and you can turn the zone lighting on, close, and I'm gonna turn all the zone lighting system on so you guys can see what that is like so you got your spotlight there i hate that so that ford does that but you guys all your led lights are on up top here that spotlight's on this spotlight is on and then your reverse lights and your uh license plate lights are on reverse light reverse light and your license plate so basically it turns on all the exterior lights it's actually a pretty useful feature if you guys you know live in the country or go out to the country or do some camping or something like that and you need uh like a illuminated area around you it is actually a very nice feature i used to think it was a gimmick but it's really not it's actually very useful and then here are your different driver assistance settings i always like to show people this this is one of the driver assistance screens you can come down a little bit more and driver alert so those are your two screens coming back out of that that's your time that is your temperature over there, the ambient exterior temperature. Uh, and that's kind of about it for that screen. I could spend more time on it, but that'd make this video rather long. And then you get your volume knob, you have your tuning knob. This will pop up your 360 degree view camera system. You press that button again, it goes back away. That is to turn auto stop start on or off. You can turn your parking sensors on or off by the push of that button. That's, that's to go back on a track. That is to play or pause on the track. And then that is to go forward on a track. With the high package, you guys get dual zone climate control. So you get your temperature readout there and over there as well. So dual zone climate control. And then also with the high package, you guys get heated front seats with three levels of adjustability, which is also very nice. And then coming a little bit more, you get a USB-C port and a USB-A port, as well as a good amount of storage space down in there. You get this cool little plaque that lets you know that um, it was designed and engineered in Dearborn, Michigan, and it was built at the Michigan assembly plant. You also get a little Bronco uh, insignia or badge on your gear shifter. This is what your gear shifter looks like. If you guys want to go into manual mode, all you gotta do is bring it all the way down, uh, and then you can go in between your different uh, gears by pressing up that's upshift that's to downshift and that's kind of about it for that as standard with the badlands you guys get seven goat modes or basically your different drive modes goat stands for goes over any terrain pretty cool and then you can go between the different ones so you got normal mode you have eco mode then you have your slippery mode you have your mud slash ruts mode you have sand then you have Baja, and then all the way over is Rock Crawl. So pretty cool. I'm just going to leave it in normal because I'm not going to do any off-roading here. Uh, but that is two-wheel drive high. That's four-wheel drive automatic. That's four-wheel drive low, and that is four-wheel drive high. Obviously, you have a two-speed transfer case, and then pressing on that button right there is trail control enabled. So you can turn trail control on or off by the push of that button. Basically like an off-road cruise control kind of thing. Uh, easiest way to describe it. But you get two cup holders there, and then you get automatic up and down with windows at all four corners that is to restrict your passenger window privileges and then these are your power side view mirror controls because after all you can't take the doors off of this thing um so you still want to you know have control to your side view mirrors if your door is off so that is why they move that stuff uh down to here opening up your glove box let's see you get a decent amount of storage space down in there honestly more than i was expecting i would say you know about 50 percent of my forearm fits down in there and you also get a 12 volt power outlet uh and then you also get this divider down in here but i'm gonna let the owner mess with that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put the divider in for him or her they can do that themselves and then you get your bronco lettering on the passenger dash about right there you get a lockable lower glove box and that is what that looks like and then you get another grab handle on that side. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror. I believe this auto dimming rear view mirror comes with the high package. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, but then the driver gets an LED light. The passenger also gets an LED light. And then you have these six different auxiliary switches with the Badlands, which is also really sweet. So if you guys have six different light bars, you can open up or uh, turn on those different light bars individually with these six different buttons. Just keep in mind that when you turn them on, they light uh, up in amber to let you know that they are active. And then you get this visor here. This guy's doing some donut stuff. <laughs> oh. 
All right, after that brief intermission, let's get back into it. So you do get a visor with two vanity lights and a vanity mirror, as well as a little clip you can set some money. Registration or any small paper product, that is also a sliding visor. You can open up this part of the roof by pushing that down pushing that down and then I believe you can just throw it right back and then uh, you have like a basically sky view which would be very very nice I'm not gonna do that uh, but I do believe that you can do that sorry that guy uh, kind of threw me for a loop a little bit I wasn't expecting to see somebody come in and do some donuts so I'm kind of kind of lost my train of thought a little bit so I apologize for that uh, but I did want to go over uh, the high package again so with the $2,790 high package you guys get a 12 inch sync for infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto you also do get heated front seats a dual zone climate control system a 360 degree view camera system uh, you also get additional sound deadening with the high package you also get forward-facing sensors with that high package as well now I am going to throw up the entire window sticker on screen so you guys can take a look at all the optional stuff all the standard stuff the warranty stuff basically whatever you want to look at but basically I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP so the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands is spec is $58,130 I know that's a lot of money However, you know, this thing's an out of the box off-roader. It's pretty quick, honestly. And it's just, it's a way better daily driver than a Jeep Wrangler. Just something that I've noticed from driving Jeep Wranglers and this, this is just, it wins on driving on the street 10 times out of 10. Yeah, the Jeep might be a little bit more capable off-road, uh, but if it was mine and this was gonna be a daily driver, I'd choose the Bronco personally. But I do wanna show you guys what we got going on in these rear seats. Honestly, I was kind of worried that he was gonna hit the Bronco and then I'd have to deal with that, but luckily that didn't happen. Happen. This is what your rear door panel looks like. Same as what you would find in the front. You also get a grab handle here. This is what the rear seats look like. Again, just like the front, they are vinyl wrapped. But stepping on into the interior, this does also have the mole strap system. I uh, just, uh, I think that's what this is here or here. I don't know. Anyway, that is what that looks like. That's what that looks like over here. This is for your rear windows to go down and up. Then you have a USB-C port and a USB-A port as well as a 400 watt household power outlet to the right of that. And uh, it's kind of about it. You get a, a, another grab handle over there as well. But yeah, that's kind of about it for what we got going on in these rear seats. But one more thing I wanted to say is that I am five foot nine. I am adjusted behind myself and I still have quite a bit of leg room, quite a bit of knee room left over as you may be able to tell and a ton of headroom left over. One thing about uh, this versus a Jeep is that I feel like the uh, roof in here is a lot taller than in the Jeep Wrangler. Like the Jeep Wrangler feels like it's a lot lower than the Bronco. But you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the Bronco. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review, or I always start my video here, at least when I film this way. I go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour, and then I rate them going over the speed bumps on a scale of one to 10, just keep in mind, nothing will ever be a 10 because perfection does not exist in this world. Somebody did a burnout right here. It looks like over the speed bump. Uh, a lot of recklessness going on back here today, but I believe I'm gonna give this thing an 8.4 on a scale of one to 10. It went over those bumps very, very well. And uh, I mean, I would kind of expect it to because this is an off-roader and it's kind of built to go over bumps like that. And plus it's got these really thick section tires. So yeah, I would expect it to go over those bumps, no problem. And that's exactly what it did. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the part in the video where I did that little off-roading kind of thing, but uh, that was so effortless for this thing. I mean, it just like went right over it like it was nothing. And you know, that divot is, you know, it's small, but like, it's not like super small. And uh, it went over it like nothing. And I mean, it's a it's a Bronco Badlands uh, Sasquatch after all. So kind of would expect it to. This being a four cylinder is honestly surprisingly peppy. Uh, and I think that has to do with the low gear ratio with the 470 axles. Uh, those uh, definitely help it you know, accelerate up to the speed limit uh, pretty quickly. So another thing I wanted to mention is that with the high package, you do not get the Bang & Olufsen sound system. I believe you have to step up to like the Lux package, I believe is what it's called. And with that, you get the Bang & Olufsen sound system. But honestly, this sound system sounds pretty dang good for being the standard sound system. Do a little acceleration right here.
once you start getting into boost it really starts to uh pick up speed pretty well uh honestly you know for this being a soft top it's not the quietest thing in the world on the interior but you know it's right on par with like what you find in like a jeep wrangler um so when you buy these kinds of vehicles don't expect them to ride and be quiet like a regular SUV would be because that's not the point of this. You know, the point of this is to be able to take the doors off, to be able to take the top off, and you know, to be able to do that by yourself, you know? So they try to make the stuff, you know, relatively light. Um, so you can, it's easier for you guys to take this stuff on and off. So with that said, you know, that means it's not gonna be quite as quiet you know as what you'd find in like a regular SUV and that's just you know what you should expect from a vehicle like this and this is what you would expect uh, from like a Jeep Wrangler or something like that you know what I'm saying so uh, these kinds of vehicles aren't built you know for refinement these vehicles are built to do some serious off-roading but also to be a great daily driver and in comparison uh the wrangler to the bronco the bronco would make definitely for a better daily driver than the wrangler the wrangler's just you know it's kind of floaty not floaty but just like bouncy and it's just it's not as refined as the bronco is and i know i just like don't buy these to be like a refined vehicle but this is definitely more refined than what you find in the jeep wrangler this has uh, an independent front suspension the uh, wrangler has a solid front suspension sorry that sti is pretty loud it sounds pretty good too though uh <laughs> So yeah, I mean, as you may be able to tell, we're just cruising in traffic. You know, we're at about rush hour, it's about 5 p.m. So, you know, if you guys are looking for a real world review of what this is like day to day and driving home from work and stuff like that, driving home from school, well, this is a good review for that because this is what it's like. You know, you got that easy power to get you from stoplight to stoplight. And if this 2.3 uh, liter four cylinder isn't enough for you, there also is a two optional 2.7 liter V6 that has uh, a little bit more power to get you, you know, up and going a little bit faster if that's what you want. But I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds to hear what it sounds like cruising at about 50 miles an hour. With the soft top light, I might add. Going over a little bridge. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely cruises better. The Bronco cruises better than the Jeep Wrangler for sure. It's just, it's a smoother ride. There's not so much like, you know, bouncing and uh, swaying side to side is what you'd find in like a Wrangler. And the new Wranglers are better than what they were. Like, especially the JLs are definitely better than the JKs. The JKs, man, I did not like the JKs. They were just way too bouncy. Uh, but the JLs are pretty good. But in comparison, uh, the Bronco is just, it's better. It's It would make for a better daily driver than the Wrangler would be, you know? Um, so, Overall, it's just a great driving vehicle. It's very easy to park. You got the 360 degree view camera system with the high package. So, I mean, honestly, it is. it would make for a great daily driver. You know, uh, that's a Wrangler over there and, you know, looks are subjective. Um, so you could either like the Rubicon better or you could like this better. It's just uh, uh, up to you, what you like. And honestly, I don't know which one I like better. Uh, I couldn't tell you, to be honest, because they both, when they're both souped up, they look pretty sweet. And plus, the Wrangler has an optional 6.4 liter V8, so it's like kind of hard to beat that. Um, but I mean, out you know, uh, 392 Rubicon versus the Bronco Raptor. I think the Bronco Raptor is better. Uh, I haven't driven a Bronco Raptor, but I have driven a 392 Wrangler, and it drives like a Jeep, but it has the glorious sound of a massive V8. So it's just dependent on what you guys want. You know, do you want a, a smoother riding, you know, daily drivable off-road monster or off-road beast? You know, then this might be the better option for you. But if you guys are looking for a serious off-road or you want to do some serious off-roading and it's not going to be your daily, well, then the Wrangler is a little bit more capable um, than the Bronco. Bronco is so I got a little uh, emergency vehicle coming up so I'm gonna pull over here 
for him, let him go by. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, this is a great vehicle. The seats are very comfortable. The sound system is great. The Sync 4 system is awesome. I love how you got that massive screen. I love how you got the 360 camera. And this one's just specced very, very nicely. Um, and also, you can get this in a manual, which is really, really cool as well. So overall, this is a great vehicle. It would make for a great you know, daily driver, but also a great like off-roader that would be a lot of fun to drive both off-road and on-road. So overall, this is a really fun vehicle to drive. It looks great. It looks cool. It drives great. Um, so if you guys are interested in this particular one, I'll be sure to have Matt's information in the description box down below. But that's it for today. There's another Bronco over there. That's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your guys' help. So if you guys would, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.